1827, James Faulkner built the first frame house in what would later become Jerseyville, Illinois. Known as the Red House, it served as a stagecoach stop and tavern. In 1839, Dr. Edward Darcy bought the Red House to use as his home. Dr. Darcy's daughter, Catherine, went on to marry Prentice D. Sheeney, also called P.D., and she became the owner of the property when her father died. Historians believe P.D. began constructing a mansion around the Red House after his father-in-law died in 1863, incorporating the Red House into the new mansion. In 1950, workmen repairing the foundation of the mansion broke through a basement wall and discovered a secret chamber, giving credence to the belief that the house was also used as a stop on the Underground Railroad. Although apparently well-liked and respected in the town, with a large circle of friends, my research revealed that P.D. didn't seem to be fair when it came to business dealings, and he was the defendant in many lawsuits. For years prior to his death, his preparation of cases and filing of court briefs in those lawsuits caused many to refer to him as Judge Sheeney. The most famous case that involved him, and which lasted for years, was the probate of his will. It was considered one of the most curious wills ever filed in the county and tied up his property with provisions that forever prevented his only heir, his son Andrew, from obtaining full possession of the estate. Reports of the paranormal include the apparition of a former nursemaid, hearing talking on the second floor, hearing the sounds of dining room chairs moving, and a little girl heard singing. An entity in the basement is said to be very aggressive against female investigators. The Sheeney Mansion is one of the cleanest, most well-preserved homes we have ever investigated. While we were in what was known as the doctor's office, it appeared that we made contact with someone. We also captured some interesting EVPs. While we don't know her connection to the Sheenies, it appeared we made contact with a woman named Anna. Just Anna? Yeah. We also made contact with Billy. Just so we know it's not a malfunction. Who, who's dead? Me. What's your name? Billy. While this could be Petey's brother, it could also be William Heffron, who was found guilty of murdering the Sheenies' domestic servant, Bridget. Whoever we made contact with was in trouble and wanted us to go to the basement. Are you in trouble? What, what kind of help do you need? Help. Where, where are you? Once in the basement, the spirits appeared to want my help. Why are you here? We also captured a chilling EVP that might also be connected to the murder of Bridget. Who is it that's crying? Let her speak to us. We didn't catch any photographic or video evidence in the basement but we did have an uneasy feeling. We didn't feel threatened at all, but we did feel like the spirits were surrounding us and trying to intimidate us. The area near the front stairs had high unexplained EMF readings. We also caught several light anomalies there.
Is the Sheeney Mansion haunted? We believe there's more to this family and this house than our investigation revealed. <laughs>